the president's helicopter touched down on the grounds of the synagogue church. Waiting to receive him, Prophet T.B. Joshua, founder and owner of Synagogue Church of All Nations. This would be his first public appearance outside his church since the collapse of the hostel. Without wasting time, Prophet Joshua led the president straight off to the site of the collapsed building. And after taking a good look, the president turned to address journalists. My personal condolences and that of the federal government to the church, to the prophet, the founder of the church, and especially to the bereaved families of the people that have died. And as you've read from the papers, a number of them are not Nigerians from other countries, especially South Africa has the highest number. I spoke with the president of South Africa on Thursday to express my personal condolences and that of the federal government. And uh, the issues of the cause of collapse is not what I can comment on since uh, the investigation is uh, going on, but we'll uh, work with people to make sure that we don't experience this collapse again if it is something uh, within the uh, something that government can do. Of course, I spoke with the governor of Lagos yesterday. We are going to have a meeting with all the governors and the local government, uh, uh, the president of the local government chairman, to see that uh, we must assist, government must assist in terms of advisory uh, issues to people who are building high-rising houses so that uh, if it is technical issues, uh, we will be able to manage it better. But the primarily, my coming here is to express a condolence to Prophet Joshua, the synagogue of all nations, and of course the, the bereaved uh, families. The president later left the site for a brief closed door meeting with Prophet TB Joshua. After the meeting, the president made his way to the helicopter. Sensing this was a good time to get an interview, journalist swapped on the prophet. All right, sir. In your statement, you said the plane was targeted at you. Why will you say so? Sorry. He scolded his personal guards for trying to shield him from the journalist, but he declined the interview. I'll give you. I'll give you opportunity. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, this is not the time. I will give you a statement, but not now. Not now. All right. Not now. Come, come. All right. Founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, T.B. Joshua, has died. He was 57 years old. This is a big shock to millions of people around the world and, of course, uh, many people in Nigeria who were directly following T.B. Joshua. There was no indication that the preacher was ill before his death that has shocked his followers. T.B. Joshua was the leader and founder. He was a god. Like, you never thought he would die. Gosh, that is why people went crazy. I cried when he died. I cried for an apology that I will never receive. The Nigerian Senate has held a minute silence. The lawmakers eulogized Prophet T.B. Joshua, saying he epitomized... He is probably one of the greatest con men to ever exist. To con so many millions of people into believing that you are holy. It goes into glory where there's no more conflict, where there's no more strife.
the bad guy won and very powerful men propped him up. He had to have his enablers in the police service, in the government, different politicians in different countries. Nothing could bring him down. Stop, 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 stop. 